Brian, you were in the bathroom, but basically what oh, yeah. I said... What was the take? So basically I said, you know, men care about women's body counts a lot, rightfully so, which a woman then, as a rebuttal, I care about how many hours of porn have you watched? Because I think it has the same psychological effects that having a high body count for women that watching porn which by the way i don't do only fans so go ahead and try to find whatever leak you're talking about but um well what what would be the number I, that, that, we that was what we were talking about i don't know what the conversion rate would actually be but there's no denying that porn has psychological effects on men that correlate and are very similar to the psychological effects of women having high body counts i mean i don't deny that watching porn will have some degree of impact on men but you, you just can't make this sort of comparison that it's, it's on the same level as promiscuity. Who has who has more crazy kinks, men or women? Well, I heard pregnant. I'd actually today, argue so women. So there's this there's yeah. this men book. Men have that too. There's this book. Yeah, that's true. A breeding kink. Wait, yeah. it's called that's My really Secret scary, Garden. Though. My Secret Garden, I think, is the name of the book. It came out in. Uh, Women's Sexual Fantasies is a 1973 book comp compiled by Nancy Friday and uh, who collected women's fantasies through letters and tapes and personal interviews. And, uh, bro, you guys, y'all got some weird fucking shit. I mean, that's fine. So do men. Sure. I mean, yeah. who, cr who, who commits the more, more sexual crimes? Well, hold on. Okay, that's... No, because, like, if we're talking about the consequences, right, the psychological consequences... You think, you think it's because of porn use that... I mean, I think it, it does have an effect I, for some people. You think men are more likely to essay women because of porn use? Couldn't you it make... It escalates. You could Psychologically, actually, it escalates yeah. them to a point to where, yeah, eventually... Do you have either, any science either, to, either they do crimes or they get into because really of crazy watching. Kinks. Absolutely, porn? absolutely. Porn, porn, watching porn could even lead to erectile dysfunction, and that's on. Well, not hold on. Let's let's stay on your your one thing here. So, you said that men who watch porn are more likely to essay women. Couldn't you make the opposite argument that men who are deprived of sexual release are more likely to essay women? Yeah, I, I agree with both statements, but I I do I do think that there's more inherent harm in watching porn and going that route. I think it's a bit of a leap, though, to say men who watch porn are more likely to essay women. I, I think I, there's, there actually are statistics that show that the higher porn consumption leads to more uh, essays. Yeah. Now, I... How do you, well, how, I think, how do you well, prove that, though? Think about how porn is, though. Well, like, okay, so... Because yeah, the, we're not talking about so, just grabbing women off the street, but, like, in a situation where it's, like, say you two are drinking, and it's, like... Some men don't understand that's not what women want because, well, okay. oh, in porn, she loves that. Or that's so I like, think the like psychological um, thinking behind it is it's that... It's a reach. Go so, ahead, go ahead. Though. Go ahead. So when uh, someone's watching porn, like, it gets more and more extreme right. to get the same amount of reaction. Right. So once porn... Cause there, and this is kind of an argument I would pose against your uh, point of view. Not saying porn's good, but once you get to a certain point... Uh, things through a screen no longer have the same effect. Mm -hmm. So they're, they want to do stuff in real life. Right. The only way you can do that is generally yeah. forcefully. Yeah. So um, there are statistics that kind of bear that out. But then uh, to argue against your point, yes, I think porn is terrible for marriage, especially if you're looking for a husband. Don't find somebody who watches a lot of porn. That's It's extremely bad. Um, but I definitely would say that the physical relationship like physically engaging in the acts of sex is like but is with it, multiple people is way way on magnitudes worse isn't than, it a product of psychology though right like psychology and biology well, like well yes yeah, so because what, what makes it worse like what happens when a woman has a high body count to now not being a wife or wife material like what is it that happens like isn't it a psychological thing like her pair bonding ability more likely to lead to divorce less likely to be able to raise yeah. you know well, children so just emotionally right. uh, it's harder for women to emotionally detach from men when they have sex with them it's it's easier for men to detach emotionally when they have sex with a woman not saying that like I, i'm promoting men to go have sex with a 
bunch of women, but they are psychologically different and physiologically different. Yeah, so that's why my my comparison isn't on a man's body count. Exactly. It's yeah, on yeah. Hours yeah. watched of porn. Well, but it's not even it's not even close to the same magnitude. I'm not saying that obviously porn's bad, porn bad, but it's not porn bad just like uh, women high body count bad. And also, I think if we, one perhaps angle we can look at this, if we look at the extremes of both and the impact on the partner, so okay, let's say the guy is like watching five hours of porn a day, extreme porn addiction, yeah, right? That terrible for you. Bad, but okay, maybe he has difficulty getting it up and he's got mm-hmm. weird kinks or whatever, who yeah. knows, whatever it may be. be the extreme, the, the extreme of a woman who's got, let's say, a body count of 100 well, okay, let, no, let's just use the extreme negative symptoms or ramifications. Fucking, it could be an STD. She's got a fucking crazy ex or some shit. Like, I mean, I would, I would, I would, I would argue way that worse, a, way worse. a man with a porn addiction in a committed relationship also possibly might go cheat and and go to explore his fantasies and the yeah. fantasies that he develops watching having an intense porn addiction is going to lead to him possibly. In, committing infidelity and that potentially could risk your health for STDs. You, but you can make everything. like the, the extremes, I would argue mm-hmm. it's far worse to be promiscuous than to be a porn user. Yeah. And the psychological... Wait, do, do, you, do, you, oh, do you agree with that? If we can say that... Yes, I, por- I personally think they are they're e- they have it's, equal consequences. You, so wait, you think it also depends porn, what kind of porn maybe that you're watching. Well, so but to be that, clear, yeah, but like that's If he's the watching thing. five wait. hours of hardcore, like, well, crazy stuff, I Well, but that's the thing like that is more the porn. more you watch, the more likely you're going to yeah. be going into like crazy there's stuff. There's some men who wait, have to watch porn so and jack on, off me, before they can have sex with their wife. Let me ask you this. So let's say if we can we can agree that porn is bad and promiscuity is bad. Okay. So let's say... Let's compare... Let's compare an average amount of porn usage and an average amount of female promiscuity. Which is worse? They're probably the same. You think it's the same? I do, yeah. Really? Yeah. I would think that, okay, so someone who, uh, so a woman who is promiscuous versus a man who consumes porn, the long lasting effects of being promiscuous far outlast the long fa- lasting effects of being porn addicted say the man gets off porn immediately and he's no longer he he doesn't even have the ability to consume it like after a certain amount of time say it's probably probably about a year like those negative effects go away after a year those negative effects don't go away for a woman i completely disagree with that i think if anything people get over their promiscuous times like a lot of once people have that couple years phase in their lives and then realize what they were doing versus the effects of watching that porn that much and developing those kinks i don't if you develop those kinks and stuff there's i don't no see going them back. going back yeah there's like once no you're there you're i don't know i don't know the statistics on that like, i would be interested to know the yeah. statistics on like if someone quits porn how quickly it takes them to get back to baseline but you don't. we do we do have statistics we quits do quits have quitting. statistics on quitting promiscuity so People who have five or more sexual partners in their lifetime have a 20% likelihood of a successful marriage. We do have that. Them quitting, quitting promiscuity like, doesn't affect their success in marriage. Because maybe they're not quitting so, promiscuity. I don't know. Yeah, so, we don't know in those statistics. Maybe so, the reason why that's failing is because they're going on and still cheating or yeah, doing things of the sort. Because they can't stop themselves. Which is porn watchers. I haven't mm-hmm. met someone who's addicted to porn who's able to stop themselves because it's so much easier accessible than yeah. having I'm, sex. I do have do to move things on to the last to thing here so comments? I can try to wrap, wrap up the show. Just some of your pre-show notes here. Mm-hmm. We could have... Perhaps I, I'm having to skip over some of yours and some of yours. I mean, we That's did fine. start the show late because you guys were late. so, um, And we could have gotten into this sooner. But uh, you said men really got disgusting over COVID for real, for real. Yeah, I think that's what I said last time. Because oh, okay. even, um, even now in the six months that I've been single and celibate, I've tried dating twice. You've been celibate? I have. For six months? Not the whole six months, but recently, be- <laughs> after those two bad dating experiences, and I'm about to explain why, because... So you haven't been celibate for six months? <clears throat> for... You tried to be celibate for six months? Yeah. And I tried I've been dating ce- twice... No, I tried dating twice during these six months, two different people, and both times it was very much so like sex forward or sex driven or sex aggravated i would even say what does that mean like Um, their only intentions were to have sex yeah 
and that was not my intentions going in and I've been celibate since that experience probably like four wait so you you were surprised that men wanted to have sex with you not no it just seems like they weren't interested in dating her they were just interested in getting in dating her to get into her pants yeah not with the actual point of being with her but just to be with her and even with the guys i've tried talking to because i stopped going out on physical dates after those two experiences um have just honestly been the same it's been very like sex forward sex driven very much so like i like i say aggravated sexually because it is very like I don't know, it feels primal, and maybe that comes from past trauma as well, so I, like, feel that way a lot of times when it's very sex-forward instead of relationship-forward. Um, but yeah, that's been my experience, especially after COVID, and from other women that I know as well, who say they do like to go out and party, or they like to hang out with friends. A lot of women, and this is coming from LA specifically, just because that's where I'm living, won't even go out anymore. And the parties, or underground raves, or wherever you go, a lot of time the rule is women are free. Look, if you guys want to fucking leave, then just get out. Go ahead. You guys can leave. Go. I don't need you guys making little fucking faces at each other the past fucking hour. If you guys want to leave, it's totally fine. Just fucking go. You, she's had no time to talk. You, we've given you guys so much fucking attention the entire show. At least be respectful for the last five minutes while she's saying her piece. If you need to really fucking leave, your little fucking security guard needs to take you back to fucking LA. Kindly go. Go ahead. Thank Out you. you go. Thank you for having us. Afuera! <sighs> You can go too. Me you were, too? Out you go. Go ahead. <laughs> what I do? You were making faces at her. I She's trying smile. to tell her story. I told you guys, mm. we have five minutes left of the show. You I can't just, just be polite and listen to her without fucking, oh my God, I can't believe we have another five minutes. Go ahead. I know, I'm trying to rush through. I'm sorry, oh, I just have to leave. Shaking. It's already 11. That's but all. I feel like also this is a long topic. Maybe it's for another episode or for other people to talk about, but I feel like... Uh, in LA specifically with the parties and stuff like God that, damn, dating bro. has been very like women are free for it to try and get women to come in huh? and a lot of my women what? friends no. don't even want to go what? out because there's been them. so much I don't know, are they gone? Yeah, basically. Uh, okay, well, what's I'm their in, fucking film? Like, God, just let them go <laughs> It's okay <laughs> No, it's okay, I think I got my point across I feel like people who know know what I'm yeah. talking about and feel what I'm talking about and I feel like, again, that also is very influenced by this new bimbo culture. A hundred and ten percent, because... Yeah, I think a lot of men think that women in general are over-sexualized now, and that every woman they come across is going to be an over-sexualized little demon ready to, like, Mm -hmm. go at it. And I also think, because of COVID, a lot of people forgot how to be just a decent human being. Yeah, how to Social skills and stuff are very off. Social cues are very off. Like, even this 18-year-old, like, COVID hit when what she was, like... How old? 14. In high school. She was 14 when COVID hit. Like, she hasn't really experienced life or the world. So, like, a lot of these people don't know how to act. And they didn't have a chance to. It's really sad. We're going to see the effects for a long time. Yeah. And I don't... They're not going to be positive ones. They're already not positive ones. Truthfully. I'm I'm endgame with my dude. I'm not going back out there. (laughs) (laughs) I... We (laughs) did. You guys will get there. Yeah. Eventually. They told me on here I would never find a man. I'm going to the Air Force. Maybe when I get out, I'll find somebody. Yeah. But for now, it's Good probably luck. not going to happen. <laughs> I respect that, though. I really yeah. do. Like, respect waiting until after you come out of the Air Force because you're knowing you're not oh, going to have time back. to commit. I do respect that because I know guys, even family, Sorry. who, like, they try and get a girlfriend Spencer. really fast to wipe up before going into the military. Yeah, that's messed up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For the benefits. Yeah. But yeah. it's like... For the benefits and just to know that they have somebody to come home to. Mm -hmm. And I honestly, that sounds nice, but it's unrealistic and you're putting pressure on your partner to uh, know that you're always going to be there to come home to. Right. It's also short-sighted on the guy's side because, like, you have no, you have no man protecting that woman from going out and seeing some other dude. And not even yeah. just that, but you just have no man protecting that woman in general. Exactly. Like, yeah. what are you going to do? Start a family and have mm-hmm. kids and then go overseas, or you know, yeah. have not be able to be there, there to 
okay. raise your family like i just i don't see why so many men i get it it's like mm-hmm. to have a life and have a family everyone yeah. wants that but i don't know i couldn't have kids and then mm-hmm. be like yeah. i want to be involved in my kid's life i yeah. mean like yeah it's uh I, I wouldn't be able to have a child and be like peace i don't want to raise you right. and go like to a, war. um sorry i didn't mean to cut you off there i'm you're trying good. to rush too because i know other like we all got to get home but I feel like that's also out of fear of not being able to get into a relationship after they come back from being away. Yeah. I really do. And they should realize they're even more, yeah. in a lot of women's eyes, more... More um, desirable. More desirable, exactly yeah. the word I was yeah, looking for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially because you guys don't have a ticking clock, so... Yeah, exactly. It's not like you're in any rush. That part. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I mean... Uh... You have nothing to add. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell by the beginning statement. <laughs> Brian's checked out. <laughs> I'm just oh no. Nah, they were I look. They were, were they were. I don't know if you guys. I mean, they were doing the fucking looking at each other. Doing. I the was fucking between faces. them the whole time. <laughs> were they making <laughs> faces the whole fucking? Oh no, show? they were like yeah, they were playing footsie like everything. Yeah, I just they were wanted just to know why luck. they have they paid a bodyguard mm-hmm. to sit outside. Yeah, for what the real? hell is he guarding? Oh, they yeah. the door. That's yeah, weird. that's crazy. Oh, that's what that guy. Yeah. I didn't see it. Yeah, I know. I didn't see it. Mm-hmm. Actually, that's really funny because I have stopped looking in LA. I have stopped looking in general because my last relationship, even though it ended terrible, the relationship itself was beautiful. And I feel like he did a lot of nasty things to me in the end, but they were influenced by what he was doing in the party scene. And I'm able to be friends with him from a distance now. I can honestly say he's one of my best friends. And I'm in the process of watching him get himself help, which. It does not f- happen fucking often. <laughs> it does not. Ellie has too many social climbers. Yeah. Yep. In clout chasers. Yep. And I yeah. would be scared the whole time that it, if it was genuine or not. Or exactly. something to further their career or whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. Anything you want to add, Brian? What do you guys call that? Castling? What is it called? No, I don't call it. I call that Frank a Sparta Castle. kick. Oh, Sparta kick. <laughs> I call that a Sparta kick. Sparta kick. I've been trying not to rage quit. No, look. I every mean, time I leave early, it's I, considered I a gave quit. those two those two there so many passes because like they were doing the little eye looks to each other. That starting like two, even two, three hours into the fucking show, I should have checked it earlier. But it finally just got to the point. Then she started coming in, and it's like, look, you guys haven't had much opportunity to speak during the show. I was trying to give you a couple minutes here at the end of the show. I was literally about to end the show within five minutes. But they just had to keep making their little fucking eyes to each other. It's just like fucking annoying. And it's like, look, um, I know these podcasts go long, but if, let me, I'll just say, those two girls, that girl there, reached out to us to come be on the show. They requested to be on the show. And it's like, I know we have long podcasts. You've done your research. You know that we go long. And actually, tonight, this we is were, early. This, w- this yeah, was going to be a, this was going to be a relatively, if, if I wrapped up the show now, which I would have after, you know, that, what, five and a half hours I think we're at? That's, compared to five, 550, uh, that's a pretty short, comparatively, we sometimes we'll go seven and a half. The wow. last time we were here, it was <laughs> seven was and so a half. It was so long. long. We left at like 1235. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, no it was way. like one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, was yeah. it one? Yeah, it was like it one was more late. Ones I've been <laughs> it was, been it was like late. Seven yeah, hours. we got pizza. Mm-hmm. It's like, look, did it's already... We, we did get yeah, pizza. Yeah. And pizza. we drank champagne. Oh. We did drink champagne. I mean, it's yeah. like, it's it's 11 p.m. on a Tuesday. What else you got Taco fucking going Tuesday. on? Like, give it another five minutes. Let these girls talk, and I'm going to wrap up the show. But, like, it's just, it's rude to be in my face fucking eyeing each other, doing this that eye shit that girls do. I know this would be so nervous. <laughs> It's not rude to you, really. It's rude to her because she yeah, was speaking. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it was yeah. rude to her. Yeah, and it's rude to everybody yeah. here. Yeah, and yeah. but they were doing it the whole show too. So like, mm-hmm. I, some people are going to try to paint it like just out of the blue, like they did Fine. one yeah. one little thing, and it, I fucking <laughs> exploded. I snapped. Yeah. No, bro, they were doing that the whole night. It was fucking annoying, and I just, but I fucking gave them passes and shit. Oh, I probably should have checked it, but whatever. Um, also, it's just like, yo, it's an, look, uh, it's, it's an opportunity to come be on the show. Um, you can see, like, oh, people are want to whine. Oh, I've got to sit there for a long time and have a conversation. 
It's like, bro, there's men who are fucking doing dangerous, dirty jobs day in, day out, fucking nine, <laughs> 10 hours. Hold on, hold on. That are doing actually hard work and you want to complain, oh, the show, it's, I'm sitting in a, a penthouse apartment. It's, uh, oh, it's so hard. Fucking well, they do only fans. sack so. up, <laughs> sack up. Like These people are fucking entitled. They've never done a hard so day of work much. in their fucking life. And it's like, sack yeah. up. That's, They're young. Thank you for giving like me this one, though. I actually really do appreciate it. I had a lot of people DM me after the last show and were like, why didn't you talk much? Why weren't you jumping yeah. in? And blah, blah, blah. But there was a lot going on last show. And I feel yeah. like I don't like cutting people off, which is why I usually just sit and observe what's going on. But I do really appreciate that. Thank you. What's, hold on. This 